Hey, what's up, Guardians? TBL here, and we've got something a little bit different for you today. Over the past couple of days, a lot of you guys have been asking me about my thoughts on the weapon tuning update that Bungie put out last week in their weekly update. And, of course, there was a lot to digest there, and I have a lot of opinions on it. But rather than just give you my thoughts, I decided to invite Black Fox in to join me on a kind of a dual commentary and discuss these changes and how we feel about them. It was really fun and it was nice to get his opinions and uh, his viewpoints on a lot of things. Now the discussion we had lasted well over an hour. So uh, rather than bore you by blasting all of that footage in a single video, we'll be releasing segments of our conversation over the next few days in their own separate videos dedicated to different weapons and different archetypes. All of that will start with the video you're about to see now, where we will discuss some of the upcoming changes to auto rifles and how we feel about them. And of course, you guys know I love to hear your opinion, so let me know what you guys think about all of the upcoming weapon changes right down in the comment section below. And now the footage you're going to be seeing is some old Crucible gameplay footage from back in the day before the auto rifle nerf went live. I thought a video of me using auto rifles would fit with the theme of the discussion. <laughs> I really had to dig through the archives to find this one. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm surprised they're not touching other exotics though. Other you ones know, need it. I mean, the fact that they're not, they're not touching super good advice alone is enough to make me kind of raise my eye like, what? We're still just going to pretend that's not a thing? <laughs> I'm surprised oh, they're not touching Monte Carlo. But yeah. Yes. But I guess since the 10% auto rifle buff, I guess, I guess they think, oh, it's stable enough. It's got this and that, so yeah, it'll probably improve once we give the buff to auto rifles, which is granted, but... I mean, you know, a 10% damage buff is uh, is going to be big, regardless of, of, of what auto rifle you're using, so that's definitely going to be interesting. Well, here's the thing, though. You know, low-impact auto rifles only only do about, like, 10, 10 to 15 uh, damage inside of Crucible. A 10% buff's only going to give that one more damage mm -hmm. shot. I don't see where that's going to make too much of a difference inside of Crucible, at least for the high fire rates. Unless they're going to buff those by 20%. Yeah. They said it was a base, like a 10% uh, buff to base damage, so uh, take that as you will. It's not a scaling buff like the uh, the nerf was. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, hold on, I, I can just go ahead and like read. What, uh, what they say for auto rifles here, just as a whole, auto rifles need to be reevaluated from, you know, 1.1.1, blah, 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 going on from there. When the update goes live, uh, damage fall off will be more obvious, and their goals are to, you know, uh, have auto rifles be more optimal at close to medium range, damage stability range are, and such are, uh, are tuned so that players desire stability for reliable close quarters damage. What that really means, I have no idea. Not a clue. I mean, uh, it doesn't mean that they're going to just bump up the recoil on all the auto rifles? Yeah, pretty much. Ugh. Well, it's that because uh, if you have perfect balance, that's getting nerfed, so. Yeah. I think what they're doing is that they're buffing the damage, but they're nerfing the damage over range. Mm-hmm. So they're getting a buff and a nerf, which is... don't know if I agree with that, but I'm not the game maker. It was already an underperforming class, but, uh, you know... Well, if you want Bungie. stability and no damage <laughs> drop-off, use hard light inside of Crucible. Yeah! And, that, you know what? That's the thing. That's the thing here. Hard light is getting such a great buff. It's going to become the new thing. It, it's going to become the new overused weapon new that thing. people... I was just kind of throwing that out there. It's kind of a joke. I, I don't know. It's, a, it's already a gun. It doesn't have Bun's level of impact. It's not great impact. But it's very high fire rate, a small amount of impact, better than, than most of the other bullet hoses, with essentially great stability. It's already got decent stability, but uh, it's getting its base stability bumped up to 80. A 10% damage buff, and zero drop off over range. Yep. It's, it's going to be the new all-around weapon that you're going to be seeing a lot in Crucible, at least in my opinion. I think that. Because uh, it, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be very good. But, uh, you know, auto rifles in general, they're getting, what, an increase in base damage. Uh, they're starting damage fall off closer to the player to emphasize its role as a close to medium range weapon, which it already was. Auto rifles already kind of get outclassed at long range. And it's getting a small reduction in base stability. Landing shots at optimal ranges is unaffected, but repeated precision hits require more weapon control to land 
consistently, and it's going to boost damage by 10% against AI combatants. So I wonder, is that going to be a double damage boost then? Uh, are, are we getting a base 10% increase and then another 10% increase in PvE? I guess. I mean, I would. how that's written, it seems like they're getting a 10% base and then a 10% against AI. Uh, okay, I'm alright with that. I'm, <laughs> I mean... I don't, maybe, I need to think about that. I don't know what kind of damage that's going to put them on, because auto rifles were already all right in PvE before the, before the nerf, rather. And getting, essentially, a 20% damage uh, increase. Okay, I'll use my high, my, uh, my high impact auto rifles like Soros and whatnot. But, you know, just, uh, just, just covering auto rifles here, I think this is a good thing. I, I think it's about time we finally got, we finally got kind of, uh, uh, they're, they're undoing some of the damage that they did, what, five months back now? It's been since February. Yeah. Did it come out with the uh, Crota patch? Was that what it came out with? It might have come out with the Crota patch. And they, they just bumped all that in together. So, uh, you know, it, it's been quite some time since they essentially destroyed all auto rifles in a nerf, uh, in a nerfing patch that really should have just been Suros. It really should have just been Suros. It should have just been Suros. It was a nerf that was literally put into place because of Suros, because Suros was just easily the most dominant primary weapon in uh, in the Crucible. Even with the buff Thorn, I want people to remember that. Even after Thorn got buffed in December, and even after that, Suros still outclassed it because it was just an overall easier weapon to use that uh, that that got equal or better results. It it outclassed it at the time because the yeah. meta had hadn't progressed to the point where it is now where it's thorn and bolt nades or, which i call them leash nades yep you know, that's right now <laughs> that's literally the meta leash nade thorn leash nade thorn is kind of the meta right now respond with nade energy with lucky raspberry i don't think warlocks use uh, void paint too much but you know it really has progressed to the point where the meta has just gotten stale mm -hmm. uh, uh Everything like from Thorn to Last Word is just kind of overused, and it's kind of a bore to play PvP now because half the, you know, much as they have since the usage stats for uh, Thorn and regular Crucibles around like 25% usage. But inside of Iron Banner and like Trials, I think it's up upwards of 40 to 50. Yeah, I was gonna say in Sweaties, in the in game PvP stuff like Trials and, uh, and Iron Banner, it's easily, easily like 50% Thorn and Last Word. Like, uh, you, you don't get into a match of Iron ba of any standard Iron Banner tournament and not run into Thorn, Last Word, or sometimes Hawkmoon. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, <laughs> it, it's a thing, but we'll, I guess we'll have to get to that in a little bit. Right now, I want to focus a little on, uh, on auto rifles because, uh, again, I'm really happy about this. You know, the 10% increase in base damage is a good thing. Uh, the, ten, the extra 10% increase in, uh, in damage against AI combatants will literally give you a reason to use auto rifles in, uh, in PvE content. I mean, has anybody out there been using an auto rifle in, like, Crota's End the past couple of months? They uh. deal buns damage. Like, the only thing I can think of is Abyss Defiant mm -hmm. with its utility against wizards. Yeah, because that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's amazing. I love that ability. And <laughs> Abyss Defiant, before, it got, before the nerf... Well, actually, no, Abyss Defiant came out was that after the auto rifle nerf right right before I right think. before actually yeah yeah yeah. I, I think i remember it was back i think it was like two weeks after hard mode Crota came out and then the nerf hit and yeah i, re I remember doing an omnibus strike with uh, abyss i think it was, it was solar burn and it bodied that entire strike yep. i remember both of us were using it I, I mean i think the stream's on your channel somewhere but we were ranting and raving about uh Defiant for a good 30 minutes saying this thing is good because it was basically a baby Suros It's an yeah. auto rifle that has uh, I think it's got focus fire on it It's got a decent amount of impact and it has it had rather it's a solar damage weapon And it had great utility in PvE against hive enemies. I mean that thing just destroys On a, on a solar burn week and like it lasted in that form and it was good and it was good in crucible too by the way because uh, because it's a uh, it's decent fire rate mixed in with the impact and it's really good stability made it, again, a, a mini a mini Suros. And I think that lasted for all of like a week and a half before it got hit with the nerf. And now Abyss Defiant is just absolutely terrible. It's terrible right now. Oh man, it just just like so many other auto rifles. So uh, I'm, I'm definitely happy to see that the auto rifle class is getting a uh, getting the buff that it deserves. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I like the, the increase in recoil, 
but I suppose that's necessary if you're going to be giving it such a large base damage boost. And it's not like I I, I don't really think it's going to matter too much, considering you can re-roll guns for insane stability options now. Okay, here's here's what it was. Curtis Zim was released on, I think, the 21st of January, from what this said. Yeah, January 21st. The auto rifle nerf happened one month after, so it was... Yeah, February 25th, so it was almost a full... Actually, yeah, it was a full month. Okay, so we got a full month of the glory of uh, Abyss Defiant and the other auto rifles before they got nerfed to crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, that's sad. That's sad. Uh, so are there any auto rifles you're looking forward to using when, uh, once the, the buff comes in? Shot of Prize, Grim Citizen, Bang, sure I've got all three. Ready to go. Yeah! I mean, uh, you know, now that we've got, now that we have the ability to re-roll stuff, I've got a couple of decent, uh, decent impact auto rifles that I've been re-rolling, and her I've right got, hand. oh yeah, her right hand is really good. So is the uh, the wolf one. I can't quite remember the name of it, but um, one of the ones that I have, I think it's the first rule DHBY YB, one of those. Yeah, the one that drops you first. Boy. Yeah, I've got one of those with a mixture of focus fire and glass half full. And it's got a, a stability buff in the middle tree, so that thing's going to be fun to use when uh, when when uh, the auto rifle when the auto rifle buff comes in. And of course, you know, hard light is getting a, a massive, massive buff. You know, between the mix of uh, the increase in damage, it's also getting an increase in its base stability from 80 to or from 65 to 80, which is pretty large. Uh, it's getting an increased bu or bounce count for the hard light projectiles. Which is its special ability. You don't really see people, a lot of people using it, but um, hard light shots, they over penetrate targets and then they bounce around and ricochet. So you have the opportunity to hit the same target multiple times with a single shot. I think that might uh, wind up being a pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting change. It almost feels sort of like, uh, <laughs> to me right now, it feels sort of like, uh, uh, like the buff Thorn got in uh, December. Where I was like, we're increasing the dot damage. Okay. Okay. This is a this is a perk that that could potentially hit the same target multiple times with a single shot. If you catch somebody in a small room, like an anomaly or something, and you bounce those shots off the wall, that could cause some damage. Of course, you know that that's that's theoretically. And also, I think the biggest change to hard light is, of course, that hard light projectiles will not be affected by damage fall off. That's going to be big. I um, think hard light is going to be amazing in PVE. Yeah, I, I think that. It's really good, like a splash because ha not having your projectiles, uh, pro projectiles have like damage fall off is insane. huge. It, it, I, mean, I don't think people realize how big that map. is. It's just, yep. you know, you could, it's got 80 base stability <laughs> and no damage fall off. And it's, it's a, it's an auto rifle with a really good fire rate. It's an, it's a high rate of fire auto rifle that's going to have really good stability and no fall off, no damage fall off over range. I mean, <laughs> I mean, now you've got Suros, which can heal you. Mm -hmm. You've got Hard Light, which has insane amount of DPS cap capabilities. It's just going to be insane because you've got the count increase, no damage fall off, base stability up to 80. It's going to be useful. Like, you're it's going to be very good. Light, and you're going to think, why didn't I use this before? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why did I use it before? This thing's damn good. Like, and the answer is because it sucked. <laughs> It's, it sucked before, but uh, yeah, it, I mean, I think really the biggest thing there is the no damage fall off of a range. That's gonna be, that's gonna be a very, very big change, and I'm very interested in seeing how that's going to affect the PVE and PVP meta. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a wild ride. All right, that's about it for the auto rifle discussion. We went on for maybe another minute or two just talking about other little things in our favorite old uh, auto rifles, but uh, we'll leave that for another time. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about the upcoming weapon changes in the comment section below. All right, that's it for me. As always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.